Now, here to tell us more about the mass anti-government movement in Iraq is Rob Parsons, France 24's chief foreign editor. Thanks for joining us here in studio. Now, as we just heard in the program, these protests have been going on for more than seven weeks now, yeah. and they show no sign of letting up, do they, with at least six more protesters killed today? That's right, and the, uh, the number is now seven, according to the, the latest figures that are coming through today. Uh, violence across southern Iraq, including, of course, Baghdad. Uh, and, yeah, as you say, no sign of this letting up at all. There was a brief period, a, a short lull, uh, when the protesters seemed to give the government the benefit of the doubt, uh, when the Prime Minister Adel Abdel uh, Mahdi announced that there were going to be reforms, that there was going to be uh, a change of uh, cabinet members and so on and so forth, but nothing seems to have ha happened. And that frustration uh, with the dragging of feet in the government seems to have uh, provoked this new wave of demonstrations across the country. Uh, and as we've been seeing this weekend, Saturday, and now today as well, demonstrations in several big cities, including the capital Baghdad, but the Shiite holy city of Karbala, uh, the main port, um, uh, um Qasr in the south next, next to uh, Basra, uh, and Nasiriyah as well. Absolutely no sign at all that this is letting up. On the contrary, there seems to be growing frustration, uh, growing irritation and anger with the government and growing doubt on the part of the demonstrators that the government uh, is either capable or ready to introduce the sort of reforms uh, that they're demanding. They are demanding, a, in effect, a complete change of the political class. The political class, as they call it in, in Iraq, is clearly beginning to panic at this stage uh, and using the sort of methods we've seen on the streets over the last few weeks. And there's also growing anger directed at Iran. Tell yeah, more. yeah. Th this is, I think, the, probably one of the most interesting things to emerge from the situation in Iraq, that clearly m many Iraqis are fed up with being instrumentalized by Iran in its conflicts and in its efforts to strengthen its influence th throughout the region. And interestingly, too, there are echoes of this in Lebanon uh, and elsewhere. Lebanon, many of the demands are the same. The government haven't, hasn't responded with the same brutality as the Iraqi government, but the sentiment behind the demonstrations is shared to a degree. On, in both countries, there's uh, anger at the failure of governments over decades to do anything about the ordinary people's living standards. And fed, people fed up with uh, institutionalized corruption. But there's that new element that is common to both, which is growing anger at the role of Iran in both countries. There's no question that Iran has benefited enormously from the conflict in Syria uh, over the last few years. But now uh, there's a sense in which that is begin beginning to unravel. And not only that, people inside Iran, as we've seen over the last week or so, have been watching what's been going on in the, in the Middle East sympathizing with many of the ordinary de demands, the day-to-day -day existential demands of demonstrators, protesters across the region, and began to sympathize with them and act on them themselves. We've seen the same sort of demonstrations in Iran over the last week or two as we've been seeing in Iraq and Lebanon. Thank you so much, Rob Parsons, for that analysis. Rob Parsons, France 24's chief foreign editor, joining us here in the studio.